All right, today we're gonna to be looking at DCAs and show you guys how to set them up quickly and just kind of what they can be used for. So first thing we're gonna do in the center of the console is hit DCA and that's gonna make sure that you're on your DCA groups and then you can hit the view button up here. And when you hit view on our screen, and I'll move over to the side where I won't get in the way, you can see that there is uh, an overview of what all channels are assigned. I don't have any DCAs assigned at all. You can do channels, aux inputs, your buses, the mains, and the matrices. So it's pretty cool. Um, a few things I was thinking about that you could do with this, putting some auxes on on the other side is pretty nice, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So if you hit this, you have the option to customize and also the option to go from your headphones or your monitor source B. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna make this be drums and I'm not gonna go through anything else. That way I can just show you guys how to set them up, but just showing that you can actually name them and then it'll be set up up here. I guess one thing on this I could show you is you can turn off or on the scribble light above it. So it might be something that you wanna do. So we'll close out of there. There's a few different ways that you can add DCAs. I believe the easiest way is gonna be for you just to hit select and then click on whatever you need to, to add it. So we'll go ahead and unassign those and we'll show you the other way that you can do it. So if I wanted to add the kick drum, I can hit select, make sure I'm at home. You can go over to here and you can see we're already assigned to a mute group, but there's also the ability up here to do the DCA tags. So you can hit that or if you've already named them, which is another video we'll look at, you can use the user tags for it. So if I were to hit select, unselected here, you can see it's selecting and unselect. So you can fly through using the select route, which I think is gonna be the best way. So I'm gonna turn myself out of this mix here and then just let you guys hear what DCAs can do that will kinda help you out a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and select the drums. And you can hear the drums disappeared. Now I'm gonna add the bass, the keys, our guitar. Sitting by my window. And then I'm gonna put the horns. Big mama. Then we'll just take our vocals out. So now I can add the drums back. Then I can add in the strings instruments. And then this will be the horns in a minute. So then you can essentially just mute, which is nice. So it's kind of like a mute group for the entire section. That'll mute our drums, strings, and here's our horns. So pretty cool with the DCA is just how quick it is to set them up on this console. I wish that you could do spill groups. It might be something that they're going to add later. And the spill group would be where if you hit select on this, it would dump over what is inside of that. So maybe the console can do it. I hadn't figured out a way yet for it. But it's going to be nice if that's something they can add. But just as quick as you can set up, you just saw I set up three DCA groups in a matter of seconds, which is really nice. Um, another thing that I was going to show you guys that I forgot is on your mute groups. If you go to view, and I didn't do this in the video, you can name these mute groups too. So if I wanted this to be the drum mute group, I could go back and assign it as drum. That way if somebody walks up behind you and you had one to mute your effects, one to mute your instruments, one to mute vocals, it would all be named, which is a really nice thing as well. So on our DCAs, back to that, something I was thinking about that you might could do is you could assign the DCAs to bus masters. And this is kind of a stretch, but let's say I had an emergency DC8 and I assigned all of my monitor mixes to this. So I'd hate to do this, but if I heard a lot of feedback and I was doing monitors from front of house, I could take that and just barely turn it down 
and that would for a shorter period of time you could get the uh, feedback to stop and then try to fix it after the song or whatever you needed to do but it just kind of be an emergency way to get everything fixed and then you can have your aux input so if you didn't have to go all the way over here to aux and let's say on this channel you had your uh, iPhone or whatever device you're going to be using to play music you could have this assigned to this DCA and no matter what fader you're on or what fader layer you could just fade that music out or fade it back in if you were just living on your DCA bus here so a lot of different options which are really nice to be able to use the DCAs for and it really is digital it's not going to add any noise or affect anything so it's a very quick way to be able to make your mixes get dialed in if you feel like you have the whole drum set you could just turn the whole drum set down if you feel like it was a little too loud or you could turn it up and i'm very used to analog that's how i started out the first 10 years that i did sound might have been more than 10 years so we were used to groups this is kind of like a group but not really but uh, just a nice way to control things and to uh, be able to quickly mute or take up or down the whole mix. But if you guys have any questions, let us know. If you need any gear, please give us a call. Please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.